Every Friday, we take a look at some of the affordable dining options around town. And this week, we're checking out some dim sum at Exarban Village. Yeah, dim sum is a style of steamed Chinese food. And as some buddies of mine, including Courtney, found down at Gold Mountain, it's delicious. <laughs> Dining is so much more than just food. It's a social experience. Here at New Golden Mountain in Exarban Village, it provides both with dim sum and then some. In this kitchen, you'll see more than your typical Chinese food being cooked. Each day, the chefs at Gold Mountain prepare dim sum, a variety of traditional Cantonese dishes from South China. Oh, yummy. And dim sum, of course, is family style. So in order to eat with a couple of friends, I brought a couple of mine. You might recognize Courtney and Sydney from The Morning Show and my best friend, Christian. You guys, are you guys ready for dim sum today? Yes. yes. So we're here to try some dim sum, right? Yes. Uh, in China, dim sum is made out of um, little plates. That way you can share with different people and order lots more stuff. And eat more. Yes. yes. Perfect. <laughs> Which makes the ordering process a group ordeal. Do you guys want the Vietnamese spring fresh one or do you guys want the fried one? Fried. Oh. oh. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. No. 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 These small plates, loaded with delicately flavored bite-sized foods such as dumplings, short ribs, Singapore noodles, and steamed buns stuffed with sticky sweet pork, are just some of the cheap items that you can choose from their menu. Uh, I have the steamed barbecue pork buns. But my personal favorite are the dumplings. Pork, shrimp, steamed or fried, they're all delicious, especially when Jimmy makes them. Yeah. He'd be a good teacher. Yeah. That's a uh, hard to make. I use the knife mm -hmm. and make the skin like that, mm -hmm. do that, and do another side. Wow, bravo! Good job, Jimmy! Thank you! It's okay, boss? No, it's okay. <laughs> What's great about dim sum, you can try new foods you may not typically eat, like pork ears. That's it. As in the, oh, okay. Is it slimy? No, it's crunchy. We all even went a little out of our comfort zones and tried chicken things. Okay. Okay. You could hitchhike with that thing. <laughs> kind of like walking. <laughs> oh, you're making it worse. <laughs> you can't have it smile. It's so good. Start on the toes. <laughs> Start at the toes. It's really good. I'm just scared it's like you just gotta be careful with the bone. Where do you the bone in it? Although we ate a lot. I'm so happy right now. Me too. I just want to go around hugging people. <laughs> we didn't pay a lot. The prices, um, usually they go from $3.75 to higher. The most expensive items are specials, which are $8.95. To give you an idea, you could take four people and order 10 to 13 dishes as we did. The cost split amongst the group would be around $15 per person. So definitely going to come back. Love the idea of sharing. I think it's super cool. We just order a bunch of food and Pick and choose as we go. Cheers. Should we cheers to dim sum? Cheers. Dim sum. And then, and then some. And then some. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> or keep going. Well, there you have it. If you're looking for a family style meal that's pretty inexpensive, New Gold Mountain is a good option. That's your Cheap Beats Tip of the Week on Maya Signs. Oof, getting hungry all over again. And if you're wanting to check out Gold Mountain, the address and hours are on your screen. Now, beyond dim sum, they also have other traditional Chinese food items as well.